What is going on guys, my name is Mehul and welcome to your 11th tutorial of Angular 2 in which we'll be discussing about that shadow DOM thing which I was talking about and basically technically it is called as the view encapsulation. Well view encapsulation is kind of Angular 2 does it to just hide some of the data or just restrict the access to the data for example in this case we have the styles so we have already took a look at one of the three view encapsulation which angular supports and that is that it just restricted the styles to the controller only so a specific controller only so for example if i just get rid of these styles right here and just make use of um, the styles of this one then we have mainly uh, three view encapsulations but you know, before starting with that I would just go to this website can I use and this would just show me that the shadow DOM in how many browsers it is supported so as you can see the Chrome is all green the Firefox is supported but it says that not supported by default but can be enabled using a flag in Firefox so you can do that well edge is not and ie is years behind well ios obviously you are not using ios for development purposes are you well so if you have chrome that's good enough if you have firefox then again you can just enable that using a simple experimental flag you can just go to this url and just take a look so in chrome before starting just go to this three dots right here just click on them settings and go down and just enable this show user agent shadow DOM just might be this might be ticked or this might be unchecked either ways just make sure this is checked so once you are done we are good to go now in angular 2 what happens is that you can view make use of view encapsulation in three ways so if I just include this view encapsulation module from angular 2 slash core only and make use of the encapsulation property right here I can basically add three values to this property and those are view encapsulation dot none to begin with and what it does is that it completely disables the encapsulation and by that what I mean is that if I just go back to my home page here as you can see the styles are applied to the second module as well well why is this happening well if you take a look at the DOM inside the head style we can see that all of those things like ng ghost and all of that stuff is removed and all we are left with is that um, the simple CSS which we actually wrote here so if I just remove this line to make you see the difference again as you can see the style is removed from this h1 tag and the ng ghost and all that stuff has been restored so view encapsulation dot none completely disables the encapsulation now we have a second one as the emulated one and this is the default which we have already took a look at just this this one just enables this uh, ng ghost attribute so even if you don't make use of this at all that's one and the same thing so if i can just get rid of that and then thirdly what we have is view encapsulation dot native so for the browsers which support the shadow DOM actually this would come into work well for Chrome it does support so if I just go to my my shop then you see something strange instead of the things which we had earlier like h1 and all that stuff we have this shadow root and open in the brackets well this shadow root contains the style well if you have I guess ever worked with jQuery I don't know um, if you just I don't remember how we made use of that but somehow we can get something like document here so this document everything is accessible if might be when you do an Ajax request to a web page that kind of happens in the return response if it is HTML and it's automatically parsed so somehow this document is enabled and when you click that in the console then you have the HTML tag and all that stuff so above HTML we have this document so similarly we have this shadow root so you know this style doesn't know about outer world outside the shadow root so no matter whatever you write here 
this would not apply to any of the outside element and since both of these are contained both of these modules are contained inside this shadow root that is why this style is applied or you know this shadow root is applied to this one this module as well so if i just go ahead and just copy this encapsulation to this one as well and just import this view encapsulation right there and reload now as you can see both of these modules are separated by their own shadow roots so as you can see this shadow root is for this my shop the main module then for my movies we have the shadow root and again this style cannot access anything except its own child's and siblings and all that stuff and this shadow root has no idea about what the heck is going on here so again i must say that the support for shadow dom is quite not acceptable right now but for chrome you can obviously use that but if you're going for a live website then i would just recommend you to go with the emulated one which is kind of a css hack for angular 2 or you can just completely omit that and it will just automatically make sure to use the emulated one for now but the shadow dom is interesting stuff and you should probably know about it so that was all for this tutorial and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching